Shanghai feels a lot better than I might. Driving here was quite a mess. I've never really experienced that, but I guess new country, new rules. So yeah. Uh, here I'm just gonna explore a little bit. It's a little bit cold, but not too much. The sun is here, so nice in the weather. pretty cool to skateboard around cars don't go that fast it's a bit hectic because people burn red light especially electric bikes and electric scooters and everything but when you know how to anticipate it's quite all right uh, I actually like more people running red lights than people going way too fast to get to the next red light because it's less dangerous if you're going less, like it's more slowly. So I feel less threatened by your cars. So yeah, and there's not that many cars actually because there's so many bikes and the bikers don't go that fast. As you can notice, there's the famous tower behind me. I once knew the name of the tower, but I don't remember. Uh, I'm on the other side of the river at the wrong time of day because the light is just way up and everything you get is backlit as you can see with my face there is better yeah so if I go that way you just can't see anything back there's a tree too so. also there's such a police police presence everywhere that I'm guessing skateboarding's are right or they're all uh, they would have already told me so let's keep doing it. My guess will be that this angle will be much better uh, early in the morning and uh, mid afternoon, like uh, midday, before the afternoon begins. Times Square? Uh, uh, really? Okay. Maybe I'll come during the night. It's not too far from where I live. And check it again because uh, during the day, can't see it. Alright. Let's keep going. I was trying to look for a library but didn't find it, so I'm just heading back home to have some Wi Fi to meet with my friend.
All right, so I'm back along the little walkway that is giving a sightseeing spot for the financial district of Shanghai. And I actually realized something, thinking, oh, it would be maybe fun to like go on the other side. It's probably not much to see. That's often in those financial district, but there's no bridge. On another topic, I do believe that this building right here is or would be considered the tallest, biggest bottle opener in the world. I don't know, I have some better angles to show it, but it really looks like it, doesn't it? Just had the most stressful, stressful uh, drone flight I ever had. You might, the image might be shaking, but I kind of calmed down now. But I'm like freaking shaking. I had to get the drone out of this window and then back in. First time ever doing it. It was pretty stressful. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I get the footage. Hey guys, so I've been in Shanghai for a couple of days now. It's actually a fun city to get around uh, with the skateboard. Uh, they have lots of cycle lanes and everything. The dangerous roads are quite well indicated and like don't go with cycles. Their cyclists are actually quite slow. I, I pass them, most of them, with my longboard, which I am pushing. So it's, it's quite astonishing on that part. Uh, police seems to be okay with it pretty much everywhere except on some part with our, our like like the pedestrian only and things like that so yeah that's that's been fun so far uh, one of the things that I wanted to do here in Shanghai was to uh, try to see some local bands and try to explore the local scene I didn't do as much uh, research as I should have and because I'm only here for a couple of days it's hard to like uh, end up being on the right day to like actually have some stuff there is one bar that I know of called Inferno we tried to go there yesterday went to the wrong address because there's two Infernos like, there's not two of them but they moved and because Google is just not really used here as just as and Facebook too uh, if you're not careful you end up at the wrong place because things move around because it's a big city so yeah still looking for that if I found any I'll definitely put it somewhere here in this video uh, after this talk uh, if I don't I'll just put something else I'm gonna go out tonight and maybe see something interesting hopefully so that should be some content that you can watch on what to do and how to have fun in Shanghai it's a pretty impressive city so just getting around is already pretty fun but if you have a good nightlife, it's even better. I've heard so far that it can be pretty good, but it depends on what you like to. All right, so let's get on with my day and see if we can have some fun here on a Friday night.
so yesterday we went to the Dada, uh, which is a pretty cool underground spot to go for a party. Uh, not really metal or anything, but definitely a cool spot to to go have a good party. Uh, right now I'm going on my own uh, to uh, Inferno, as was planned the other day, but didn't happen. Uh, the people I'm going out with are studying here, so they have like work and stuff to do. Like they, they're not travelers, so they actually cannot join me in time. Uh, yesterday I didn't feel much because I was with them and I always feel a little bit uncomfortable uh, filming when I'm with people because I'm like, let's enjoy the moment. So once again, Google Maps completely not where the bar is. Uh, don't trust Google Maps on those kind of things when you're in Shanghai. Use maybe Facebook, like if they have a page, if the place has a page, check the address that they have on Facebook, it's usually more reliable. In our experience, that's how we found data, and that's how it seems to uh, probably be able to find Inferno. So yeah, uh, for some reason, Google Maps tends to just have stuff that are the same name, and that there, when you get there, there's just nothing. It's not even like there's a business and that has the same name. It's just there's nothing. All right, I have like half an hour to walk. Uh, probably like take me 20 minutes. Uh, I wish, now I wish I had took my longboard. But anyways, uh, let's get there. Alright, so according to Facebook, it's supposed to be on the first floor of this hotel behind me. Uh, I can't seem to find it, but at some point I gotta say, fuck it. Uh, just not able to find that place. Uh, when you look up online, I was, I was only able to find like one place that seemed to correspond to what I was looking for. And in the end, I'm not even able to find it in real life. So, yeah, just gotta skip on that. Uh, I found that Shanghai, at least, and probably China in general, ends up being quite hard to find peculiar stuff, you know, like everything that's mainstream is just all over the place. But if you want something a little bit more specific, a little bit more like of subculture and everything, they're really, really hard to find. You need to like really know what you're looking for and where to look. Maybe find someone who already knows where it is. So yeah, uh, no chance on that one. That's all right. We'll have other chance and other places where it's easier to find. Okay, so last day in Shanghai, uh, I'm going to Pipao or something like that because uh, they have some Asian buildings and things and stuff. So yeah, it's a little bit out of city. I'm gonna have to take the subway for that. And yeah, just enjoy my last day. Tomorrow I'm flying in the morning, so I'll be just packing and getting to the airport. Let's go.
Found the perfect spot to have my lunch in peace with all that crowd.
All right, so a great way to finish the Shanghai trip with Shanghai by night. Uh, thank you for watching. Remember that it's easy, it's not funny, and see you in the next one.